Remember, I have I bought one who I bought some jet. You know, like you know the term jet black. Yeah, yeah. That's well. There's a stone called jet. It's not really a stone. I think it's actually uh, fossilized sap. I'm not quite sure. Wow. But it's got this beautiful sheen to it. You, you buy them at these stores that they attribute all sorts of uh, all sorts of um, magic powers to them. Mm-hmm. You know? um, and I uh, I actually uh, I wrote a poem about one yesterday. I actually I'm gonna try and dig up that poem. Actually, yeah, I want to hear that you poem if, I can, if you have I can it. Find it. Um, all right. So um, let me see if I can do this. It's called, uh, my younger son is Moses, and it's called For Moses After He Learned to Say the Letter S. Uh, The high vibration and rapid transfers of energy from kyanite create pathways where none existed before. Thus report people whose wheels are greased with the sort of snake oil your mothers never liked the smell of. Mom knows best. It's the truth. But I happened across a piece of kyanite in New Orleans last month, which I keep in my dice bag. You've learned to pronounce the S in sky. The chi has gone out. Never again will stars twinkle there like diamonds. No longer will we gaze upon the chi in the dwindling light before bedtime. It's all right. Our time in the chi was short and miraculous. Who knows what new wonders the full sky holds It is unexplored terrain for us all. To access forgotten childhood memories or to recall a word or name that eludes you, touch the center of your brow with kyanite.